This is the automatic payment program in SAP ECC and SAP s hana F110. And this program we use to process incoming and outgoing payments to many invoices at the same time. It's a very important program and we usually face issues when trying to process the open invoices that some invoices are not automatically allocated to our house bank account. The house bank account is our bank account that we are going to use to pay the invoices. So sometimes this house bank account is not automatically determined. Sometimes there are other errors. Now let me show you how we can analyze and identify the error with the different line items. So first here I have a payment run and I'm going to create a proposal. So this is the first step in the process. Then start immediately. Okay. And now the payment proposal has been created. We have to go inside to the payment proposal to see if the all, if all the lines have been picked or if we have any issues. So click on it proposal and then click on OK. And as you see here, we have only one line with a red mark, which means something is wrong. It was not processed. It's not going to be paid. So double click on the line and this will show you the different line items inside. Now let's take this one for example. Let's double click on the line. Why was this line not picked? If you double click here you can see the note no valid payment method found but if you check the payment method you can see four here so it doesn't make sense right we do have a payment method but it says that no valid payment method found so the way you can act find the actual errors that caused this is to click on reallocate you have to do this so never trust the error that you find here you always click on reallocate and this will allow you to insert the data manually and remember that this is a proposal. Whatever you do here is not going to impact your actual invoices. Okay. So here I'm going to insert, as you see, we have the payment method here. So I'm going to insert the house bank um, ID and the house bank account. And then press on enter. And now we get another error. So this is the actual error that caused that the line was not picked for automatic processing. Customer vendor doesn't have a suitable bank details for payment method 4. And if you click on this question mark, you can see the full error description. So this is very useful and this is what you have to do whenever you find any issues with lines not being automatically processed in F110. Don't take the error that's outside. You must go inside, do reallocate, insert the data manually, and then you will get the actual error. So as you see now, the error is we need to add the bank details of the supplier. So we are going to pay the supplier some money. But in the master data, we didn't maintain what is a bank account number. So SAP cannot process this payment. Now let's close this. And also, as you see here, when I came inside, the house bank was not automatically filled. I had to fill it manually. But this doesn't actually mean there is a problem in the configuration of the bank determination. So we have some configuration steps in order to automatically determine the house bank account. Having these fields empty here in the reallocate does not mean that you have an issue in the configuration. It just means that SAP is letting you insert the data manually. So go and fix the error that you found, which is for the bank details here, for example, and then come back and then you will see if there is another issue. So now let me show you this. I will go back to, so I will go back to solving the error. So now let me go back, um, going outside of this payment proposal. So now the payment proposal has already been saved. In order to redo it after we correct the error, I will have to delete it and create it again. But let's leave this for now. So I'm going to switch to another screen to maintain the master data of our supplier. So the transaction for the supplier or for business partners is BP. Here I'm going to search for my supplier. So this is the supplier. And then change is currently being processed. Let me see. Yeah. I already have it here so this is my supplier and now I'm going to add the bank details they can be found in the payment transactions in the general data so here I'm going to insert the ID the country the bank key the bank account control key and then create IBAN okay and then save so now we have inserted the account details of my supplier now let's go back to our payment run and I'm going to delete the payment proposal and create it again. So create proposal, start immediately, OK, and then refresh. Now let's go inside the payment proposal and see if we have other errors. 
So you see this time we have two lines. So we have one line that has been processed correctly. Let's double click here. So we'll have the different line items inside. So we only have one invoice here, which is the one that we just corrected. And as you see, house bank is IHC101. It has been automatically determined by the system, which means my configuration is working fine. If you would like to know how to configure the automatic account bank determination, this can be found in transaction FBZP. FBZP, this is the main transaction to configure the automatic payment program. But, but let's, let's, let's leave this to another video or another lesson. So now you understand how to analyze the errors that you find in F110, how to get the actual error, and then how to delete the payment proposal and redo it. This time, if I proceed and do the payment run itself, this invoice will be paid to the supplier.